The largest school district in our area is laying out its budget proposal for the next school year. CMS's budget focuses on school safety and increasing teacher salaries, but it also roughly $70 million higher than last year's budget. Tonight, a lot of you want to know exactly how the district will spend that money and will Mecklenburg County leaders even approve it? NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly is going beyond those numbers, showing us how the money will impact students. Ashley, you've also spoken to a few county commissioners. What's their reaction been? Well, Fred, the proposed budget was just released last night to the Charlotte Mecklenburg Board of Education. So county commissioners I spoke with today say they still haven't had a chance to review it and didn't want to comment until they've had the chance to do so. But keep in mind, county commissioners play a big role as roughly 60% of CMS's funding comes from the county. After receiving county support last year to the tune of nearly $460 million, Charlotte Mecklenburg School Superintendent Dr. Wilcox says the district has made strides in improving three main categories, equity, people, and support. Our diplomas are beginning to mean something again, that when you walk across the stage, you are going to have the skills and readiness to contribute and participate in a 21st century economy. To continue to build upon that progress, Monday the superintendent unveiled his request for $70 million more for the 2020 school year. The new budget includes a $9.1 million additional investment in equity, guaranteeing a consistent curriculum and providing greater access to fine arts. What that really means is that math one is math one is math one, that we don't have the bigotry of soft expectations in some schools that are leading some of our kids to be crippled academically. Also included a $32.5 million investment in people. Teachers would see a 5% raise, while the starting salary for school staff, including cafeteria workers and custodians, is raised to just over $13 an hour. There's not a person in this system who doesn't have a hand in school improvement. The superintendent says another $22 million would go towards supporting students, a majority going to helping them socially and emotionally in an unforgiving 21st century by hiring 55 additional social workers, psychologists, and other support staff. There's also $4 million to put 25 SROs at elementary schools. The Board of Education will be the first to vote on this proposed budget before then being voted on by county commissioners later this summer. But before all of that, leaders want to hear from you and they've set up two public meetings where you can go and give your input on this budget. And we've put more information on how you can attend those on our website. Reporting live at CMS headquarters, Ashley Daly, NBC Charlotte. A valuable time for the public to weigh in. Ashley, thank you.